Welcome back to another Lincoln Tech Tip. Today we're gonna to talk about piston rings, their gaps, and what they do. Now the piston ring performs a unique function for each one of the four strokes of a four cycle engine. So on the intake stroke, the rings seal up the combustion chamber and make sure that no air or oil get in there. Next, during the combustion stroke, the rings make sure that the air and oil mixtures stay in the combustion chamber and are properly compressed before they're ignited. During the power stroke, the rings make sure that that burning mixture doesn't get past the rings and into the crankcase as those gases are pushing the piston down. Finally, during the exhaust stroke, the rings make sure that everything that's been spent inside the combustion chamber is pushed out and none of it makes it into the crankcase. On the piston ring gap, piston rings will expand when warm and you will set that end gap to take into account the thermal expansion and aim for best sealing once that engine is warm. A gap that is way too tight can actually close up once the engine is warmed up, causing a ton of friction in the cylinder, and if it's really tight, it can even break a piston. Now, if the gap is too big, the engine will have too much crankcase pressure, have a ton of blow-by, burn oil, and lack proper cylinder sealing. Different engine setups need different ring gaps, and it's mostly dependent on how much fuel is being burned. The more fuel, the more heat, and the more those rings are going to expand, so the bigger the gap that will be needed. Modified engines will need a bigger ring gap than stock, and turbo or blower or nitrous engines will need an even larger gap. Now, all piston ring manufacturers will give you a ring gap specification, and that's the best route to follow. Now that we're all experts on piston rings and gaps, let's get back to the shop. Lincoln Tech can teach you how to have a career working with cars. See lincolntech.edu.